Well, welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of key things that are super important. If you've been following along inside of Wealth Charts there, you've seen that we've been running these special programs each day where we've been showing trading there and teaching trading inside some very special daily events. And that has been phenomenal. And uh, congratulations to all of you that are budding traders, prop traders, swing traders, and everything in between because it has been a phenomenal run there. So great job. Let's go ahead and keep that up. Oh, by the way, on that note real quickly in the upper right hand corner uh, each morning you'll see a little icon that will appear right up here over here a little blue man whenever that's live from like 9 a.m eastern to 5 p.m eastern you can go ahead and click that little button and you can go ahead and get actual live support there as well so enjoy that so that way you can type in your favorite question and then get a video response right back there showing you how to go ahead and do it so it's like a live webinar for you to go ahead and get questions answered what a great training tool it's been people love that too so some wonderful additions as well just keeps growing and growing and growing we're just doing all these additional things here to support our incredible community so great stuff now back to the educational side of this too um, what we're looking for going into Monday is this this is extremely important so what I have up over here I have the spy daily chart I have the NASDAQ futures daily chart and then I have the NASDAQ futures hourly chart this is very important here whether you're if you're a, just a traditional swing trader of equities and options okay what you're gonna be looking for here is really want to get back up above this area right here so roughly the 577 area 578 area want to get back up above there and kind of get back to what you're seeing right here okay those buy signals love that if I want to be long I really want to see that now on the short side there will be some very short-term shorts probably not for the the swing traders as much in my opinion but if we get below that 570 area again which we kind of held on to for dear life on Friday but then notice the falling resistance above coming down on top of us so we're caught in this major channel so this, this channel is acting as somewhat of a resistance right now so what I really like to do is in the bigger picture from a swing trade I like to see if we can get down below this area here make this resistance and just die a horrible death that would be great from looking for the sell side options trades okay and of course that includes buying puts and everything else you may be buying but obviously sell, sell side strategies so that's kind of where I'm watching right here can we make this resistance or can we make this support again so that we can either get back to that or we can see some more meaningful sell side like we saw over here with the hourly so that's what I'm watching there from a swing trading perspective now from a day trading perspective it's similar in nature but different and what I mean by that is right now we've got this round number support on the Nasdaq uh, at 20,000 and 20,400 is round number resistance all right so same thing from a day trade perspective I'd really like to be up above this at 20,400 or below 20,000 uh, even now keep in mind there's also some major support here just below 19,800 in the bigger picture just like with the swing trading I'd like to see that become resistance and we kind of watched that so I was doing some classes with you guys the last week in that too I remember I wanted to get down below those areas and when we did well look out below right so I really would like to this is the first area that's a nice round number resistance to support excuse me to break then that could lead us quickly down to this area it's a nice little air gap in there the hourly chart is already primed for that if we can carry that on because you see we had a lot of beautiful selling here with all the strategies I taught during the summit and then of course everything else my ITP indicators were throttling here just like crazy so what does that mean even after a pullback we expect lower lows right we had the TRP crossover buried down below here champion trend the, you know, the momentum everything was sell side wealth signals you name it everything was just firing off which led to those gorgeous moves to the downside well where are we at now where we're at right now we are holding on for dear life at that resistance you'll see right here we are holding on there so it is still resistance so again and you see this is like 20,250 so and remember 20,400 from a daily resistance support so it, in my opinion even if we got up here it's going to take a while for this hourly to kind of turn around and trend that's a lower quality lower probability trade from my perspective so I'd like to get that hourly kind of going back up and get above that 20,400 to start feeling warmer and fuzzier about those high quality longs okay so I hope everybody's paying attention to that because notice the TRP crossover is stuck right at zero we're at net net we're in a downtrend here right and you can see here this is a real nice downtrend so 
with all that being said, we've got resistance right above us, so I'm not trying to catch the falling knife. If it gaps up Monday morning, wonderful, but you guys know, 20,400 on the NASDAQ and about the 578 area on the SPY are key areas that we got to negotiate before I can do much of anything. And of course, we obviously have the all-important election coming up here in a couple of days as well, so it's even more important to get this right strategy-wise, as you guys have seen and we've demonstrated in inside of a symbol as well charts daily events and it's been phenomenal right so as we go ahead and we look there that's why I'm focusing so much get down below 20,000 here again right because 20,000 clears out a lot of this junk right over here it's also round number support which if we could break could lead us down very quickly to this area and then of course we break that then you know that'd be fun to the downside market tends to right walk the stairs up right and then ride the elevator down so always love those too and even if you're riding the stair walking the stairs up with the NASDAQ, of course, that can be a fun ride all itself, as you guys know. So really great stuff there. So we got a couple of key strategies. So I want to make sure you guys knew from the day trading side and the futures, a couple of key areas here. And then on the swing trading side, where the key areas are as well, okay? And then we'll be implementing those exact same types of strategies that we were teaching you during the summit that we've been teaching you in the last couple of weeks during the daily wealth charts training events there. And uh, that has just been phenomenal. Thanks for all the great feedback. And then one final time, in addition to those daily classes there that we're doing inside of wealth charts there for giving those active traders and uh, swing traders uh, training, don't forget again, whatever the little blue man is live up here, come on in and go ahead and ask your favorite questions. How do I do this? How do I apply that? How do I I add this and so on and so forth. There's a lot of great tools, things I didn't even show you here in this broadcast. Like right now, let me just pull it up for you here. So as you take a look there, right, we had this phenomenal, uh, again, we got the fastest divergence tracker in the business that locks in. And uh, you see it already locked in and uh, confirmed divergence there. And so we're making a higher high in price, lower high in underlying indicators down below. So great stuff there. And and so you got a confirmed divergence there. So we'll talk more about that once we get above the 20,400. That'll be the key target level that we'd be focusing on up in that area and see if we can break it. So, but a lot of great tools in there. If you need to know how to apply different things and whatnot, feel free to jump into that little room Monday through Friday when the little icon's there too. So great stuff. We got a great plan going into Monday morning here. Let's make it another great week like last week here. A lot of fun there. And thanks for being the world's greatest students. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.